As the grim task of recovering bodies begins, Wellington police have revealed they're treating this hostel fire as arson. Because it is an arson investigation, we do have a list of people that we want to speak to. Um, I'm not prepared to say uh, who they are or where they are. However, uh, our investigation teams are working rapidly. With the Loafers Lodge building now deemed safe to enter, police have been examining the scene of the fatal blaze. The death toll stands at six, but many are still missing. I can say that we have accounted for 92 people um, and that the number uh, still to be accounted for is less than 20. Wellington's mayor has urged the community to be patient. We have to do this right uh, so we can honour those that have lost their lives but also ensure that this doesn't happen again. The stories of those who called this hostel home are beginning to emerge. Simon Hanafi was living under a tree before he found a room here. It's um, somewhere you go when you've hit rock bottom pretty much what it was for me. The lodge was compliant with building code, but it didn't have sprinklers. There are growing calls for an inquiry into the quality of accommodation that's offered to some of the community's most vulnerable. The building um, has a, a monthly um, inspection where they go through and check all, making sure that all the services are up to, um, up to standard. I have asked the Minister for Housing uh, to look particularly at uh, issues around building regulation to see whether there's anything more that we should be doing right at this point. It will be some time before investigations here at Loafers Lodge are complete. There are still many questions about how this tragedy could have happened. Police say they're working as fast as they can to provide answers. Emily Clark, ABC News, Wellington.